assume this isn't the bridal march, is it? This is just no, the, uh, this is this just, just the playing, yeah. prelude, fiddling, in, stuff. fiddling stuff. Yeah, it'll be a traditional. Um, yeah. you'll, you'll know it. Uh, I'm not sure if it's that one, but it's one like that. You will know it when it plays. Yep, I'll just get everyone to stand. Shouldn't be necessary really, but just a word of housekeeping. The bride and groom did ask that there be no photos and uh, video and social media posts and all the rest of it until after they've done that. We've got the professionals here today and they'll do the job. But you are very welcome, <laughs> having said that piece of housekeeping. Could I invite you please to stand to welcome the bride? Thanks, Rod. It's a short aisle, isn't it? <laughs> but it's a long walk. <laughs> it's a long journey to this moment for Matt and Annabelle and uh, a really wonderful and special moment to share with them. So welcome, one and all. My name's Richard and I've known the Stratton family, well, I haven't known the Stratton family for the last 20 years, but I knew them 20 years ago. And it's really special to, uh, to reconnect on a day and an occasion such as this. So you're all welcome as we come together to pray with and for Matt and Belle. As I welcome you all, I especially welcome you, Alex and Peter, and Judy and Kevin. You have loved and nurtured your children throughout their lives. I ask you, do you now give your blessing to their marriage to each other? Correct answer. <laughs> Thank you. And thank you for all you have given to them over these, uh, the journey of their life. So we come together today to celebrate, to give thanks and to ask God's blessing on Matt and Belle. Can I invite you to take a moment and to form in your heart your wish, your hope, your prayer for these two as they embark on the journey of married life. God our Father, Hear our prayers for Matthew and Annabel, today united in marriage before your altar. Give them your blessing and strengthen their love for each other. And this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I'd invite you to be seated for a few moments. And Alex and Jackie are going to come forward and uh, read some reflections for us. Keep breathing. Thanks, Alex. When the one whose hand you're holding is the one who holds your heart, and when the one whose eyes you gaze into gives your hopes and dreams their start, when the one you think of first and last is the one who holds you tight, and the things you plan together make the whole world seem just right, when the one whom you believe in, puts their faith and trust in you. You've found the one and only love you'll share your whole life through.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Thank you. Some lovely words there, and I'll come back to those in a moment. But uh, just again, to put it back in context of how special it is for me to be here today. I was a priest in the Devonport Parish back in the late 90s, early 2000s, when uh, Robin and Jackie were senior students at Brendan Shaw College in leadership positions, and uh, had very fond memories of them and their fine example of uh, being very together and sensible and mature young women. And then there was John. <laughs> in the middle of high school, in his best years probably, a lot of fun. Uh, John came on a few of the youth camps and, uh, and I had good, good memories there as well. And I'm just to say that to stir you, John. <laughs> but then there was this little fella, the, the, the youngest in the family, Matthew in primary school. Little Matty Stratton, and he was in grade four, five, six sort of age when I uh, was there in that parish and came to know him. And he was a very quiet, contained, but confident and capable little boy, I, I thought. And the young man I've met in these last weeks is exactly the same. He hasn't changed a bit. Would that be true? Yeah. If I didn't know him, I guess. <laughs> <know him then. laughs> those, those adjectives describe him. Yeah. Describe him pretty well, and uh, it's been really special. It's a funny sort of time warp, that, uh, that gap, and one that I've really enjoyed. They've chosen today a couple of readings, a, a poem and a, and a piece of scripture from St. Paul, and there's a lot of words, words about love. And there's an awful lot of songs written about love, and wars have been fought about love. There's so much we can say about love but they are just words at the end of the day. And love is so much more than words. It's, it's an experience, it's an adventure, it's a verb, it's an action, it's an activity, far more than a noun to describe a feeling or, or, or an emotion. So as we reflect on love, those, those words that have been read today, those beautiful reflections and insights and wisdom that come from that tradition, really special when you're celebrating in future years and when you're struggling in future years, go back to those words. Read them again. Reflect on them. Ask yourselves and each other, how are we living these words? How are we showing patience and kindness? How are we nurturing these qualities in each other and in ourselves? They're good, good things to do, but they're only words. The actions are what count. There are, um, the English language struggles sometimes with words and, in, and we have one word for love. We love McDonald's, we love our mum, <laughs> you know, it's the same word. In Greek, there's a little bit of a history lesson for you because I'm back in that teacher mode, but in Greek there are three words for love and I think they capture some, so much more of what love is about the different dimensions and experiences of love and what married love is all about. So a little lesson in, in Greek. There is eros, first of all, erotic, sexual, romantic love, an integral dimension of marriage, so I'm told. One that is uh, a magnificent dimension of life to share with one another and to create life. What a gift. There is filio, the love of friendship, companionship, shared interests, just sharing life together, enjoying being in each other's company, being good for each other, being mates. 
the love of friendship. And then there is agape, the self-sacrificial, self-giving self love. You think of your parents, perhaps, who have made sacrifices for you to have the opportunities that you have. That total gift of self, where you're not thinking of yourself, only thinking of the other. So these are the three dimensions. that all, they're, they're all our experience of love in different moments in life, but they are all captured, expressed and lived in marriage. They're only words as well, but they are so much more than that. So ref as we reflect on words today, and we say a lot of words, and there'll be lots of speeches and things later on, and lots of uh, love and wisdom shared, and perhaps a little bit of humour as well at your expense, just perhaps. Know the truth of those words, though. The word love, as you seek to live in it, to live it out, and to give it expression. It is an adventure that lies ahead of you. You have been given it seems to me, a magnificent example of that lived commitment in your parents, both of you. People who have, through the, the, the challenges and the, and the joys of life, lived out that commitment and shown you something of what it costs, something of how to do it, and perhaps something of the joy that it brings to you as well. You are not in this alone. You have those magnificent families and you have this community and so many others as well who are invested in your happiness and who want nothing more than to enjoy seeing you be happy and being in love. It's certainly been lovely for me to see it in these last weeks, as I say. So if you're ready to start that journey to begin the adventure of married life, married love, can I invite you in the presence of your family and friends to uh, make your wedding vows. Step forward. Girls, the dress needs attention. <laughs> and photographers, I'm going to plonk myself right here. <laughs> Somewhere. So I'm not blocking anyone's view. But that way you get to see their faces too. Yeah, come around the... Around the front here, lads. Don't hide behind the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Come forward, girls. Come in front of the flowers. We've got to see your faces too. Annabelle and Matthew, the promise you make to each other today is sacred. It will bind you together for life in a relationship so close and intimate that it will profoundly influence your whole future. That future with its hopes, disappointments, Successes, failures, pleasures, pains, joys and sorrows is hidden from your eyes. You know that these elements are mingled in every life and are to be expected in your own. And so not knowing what is before you, but trusting in God's companionship, you take each other through the best and worst of what lies ahead until death. And so, in the presence of your family and friends, I ask you now to state your intentions. Matthew and Annabel. Have you come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? I have. I have. And will you love and honour each other as husband and wife for the rest of your lives? I, I will. will. And will you accept children lovingly and bring them up according to God's law of love? I, I will. will. Well, since it's your intention to enter into marriage, I invite you now to declare your consent before God and his church. Belle, I never thought I would belong with someone as caring, loving, intelligent and beautiful as you. I have always believed that we make our own luck in life, but I am truly lucky every day to be able to spend it with you. I've known I wanted to marry you since September 28, 2019. <laughs> How did I know? That was the day we sat in the Theatre Royal watching Swan Lake by the Russian ballet. <laughs> Something else was happening that day. The AFL Grand Final. <laughs> Love is not the feeling of happiness. Love is the willingness to sacrifice. 
And that day I realised I will be willing to sacrifice everything for you. I love you, Belle. And while I could spend the next hour telling you, I just can't wait to spend the rest of our lives together showing you. Let's begin this next journey of ours together because to paraphrase my new family, that's what life's all about. I, Matthew Martin Stratton, take you, Annabelle Ann Anderson, to be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, I will love you and honour you all the days of my life. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Annabelle's got to respond. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that was my fault. <laughs> They're going to make my voice all shaky. <laughs> Matthew, you're my greatest safe place and my biggest adventure. You have a smile that I just can't help but smile back to and a personality that's just so special. I love how playful you are. I love how you put 100% into everything that you do. I love your warmth and your support. I promise to always have your back. I promise to spoil you with respect, loyalty, honesty and love because Matt, you're worth every ounce I have to give. I promise to be there for you through all the challenges and excitement that life has to offer. I promise to support you and all your dreams like you've done mine. I promise to be your wife, your best friend, and anything else that you need me to be. I am so proud to be standing next to you in this moment and through life. And so I, Annabelle Ann Anderson, take you, Matthew Martin Stratton, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health. I will love and honour you all the days of my life. Everyone's wiping away the tears, are they? <laughs> are we good? <laughs> Matt and Annabelle, you have declared your consent before God and his church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessing. What God has joined, man must not divide. Amen. Amen. John, we've got the rings. <laughs> Lord, bless and consecrate these Matt and Annabelle in their love for each other. May these rings be a symbol of true faith in each other and always remind them of their love. All right. Annabelle's ring to Matt. Annabelle, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. Annabelle, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Thanks, John. Matt, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. Matt, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now they look around. What do we do now? <laughs> <laughs> Matt, come on. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> to kiss again. Oh, okay. <laughs> Reluctantly he agreed. <laughs> Did you miss the moment again? <laughs> yeah.
pretty special, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, need, some, need to just breathe a bit. <laughs> <laughs> as we uh, take a moment to pray God's blessing on Matt and Belle, could I invite you please to stand as we pray. And we make this prayer our own as we look at this gorgeous couple. Matt and Belle, may Almighty God, with his word of blessing, unite your hearts in the never-ending bond of pure love. May your children bring you happiness and may your generous love for them be returned to you many times over. May the peace of Christ live always in your hearts and in your home. May you have true friends to stand by you both in joy and in sorrow. May you be ready and willing to help and comfort all who come to you in need. And may the blessings promised to the compassionate be yours in abundance. May you find happiness and satisfaction in your work. May daily problems never cause you undue anxiety, nor the desire for earthly possessions dominate your lives. May the Lord bless you with many happy years together, so that you may enjoy the rewards of a good life. And after you have served God loyally in his kingdom on earth, May he welcome you to his eternal kingdom in heaven. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite you to join with me in the Lord's Prayer that you'll find on the leaflet as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. So may Almighty God bless you and keep you always in his love, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I've got to complete the formalities by signing the register, so if I could invite you to have a seat, please, and enjoy the music. And Alex and Kevin are coming up to to witness this. Do you want to head around that side? Do you want to come around here, girls? Well done. Cheers, yeah. I don't know what I was worried about. Just <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, could I invite you to be upstanding and to give a very warm welcome to Mr. and Mrs. Matthew and Annabelle Stratton. Here they are. (laughs) 